Now the last thing which is left is sending the message to the dead letter queue. For that what I will do here is, I will just uncomment this since we do not have any messages left in the your service bus to read. I will uncomment this and I will remove this defer code which we have written earlier. Now the first thing is we have to send the message. We already received it. For that we have a one API available. Just use that receiver dot dead letter message asynchronously. You just need to pass the message and these are the optional thing where you have to pass some reason and some description. Blah blah blah. If you just call this, it will send the message to the dead letter queue. And what I will sending message to dead letter queue. Now with this we can send the message to dead letter queue. What we can do, we can also receive the message from dead letter queue. And for that, what we have to do here is we have to create options and send it with the receiver. And first we have to create options and all. So here we will be creating a service bus receiver and I'll say DLQ receiver and create a receiver and here we will have to just pass the queue name and along with that some options which is service receiver options which we just have to tell the sub queue you have to use is dead letter queue sub queue dot dead letter queue that's it and once it is there just go and receive the service bus message DLQ receiver service message has received okay now instead of just we will just write message here cool get us receiver okay I'll just comment this line because we are creating the receiver here also okay so let me put a debugger here and let me just run it we will go step by step there's an error let's see which error it is no okay this is needed let me just run it first it is going to build the connection create the sender send the message and let us go to the service bus and see if the message is there or not refresh it Pick from start yes hello Rohit cool now what I will do create a receiver yes it is created now send the message to dead letter queue now at this point the message should be in the dead letter queue for that I will just refresh this if you see here now the dead letter is one and pick from start it will show us the message and also the reason and description which we have given and if I go to to the queue there is no message click on start or click on messages it will say nothing to peek no messages are there so this is how we can send the message now we will see how to read the message from the dead letter queue for that press F10 so receiver is created the message is there and let me just try to see what exactly it is it is says hello Rohit cool so we are good here this is how we can read a message from the dead letter queue